Uh, one of two things. One, this is actually my first ever video on my brand new iPhone 11. And who the video quality looks cool, like really good. Um, but right now, just to show you quickly, hockey stuff on the shelves. But then to the, um, the bag down there. The bag's full, but there's the helmet on the shelf, and people are wondering what's up with that, and also to all my jerseys and stuff, and it looks nice full that the pads are down there. As well, the whole world's shut down right now. Hockey shut down, so let's clean some equipment. You're going to take this bag? I'd use my right shoulder, but my right shoulder's bum. So I'm going to take this bag upstairs, put it in my bathtub, put it with some OxyClean, and clean it. Why? We're not playing right now because of coronavirus, so I figured, hey, what better way to get my equipment, what better time to get my equipment clean because to get this stuff dry, it takes a while, and honestly, I don't know what I'm playing next, so guys, next time you see this, upstairs, we're going to get this stuff nice and clean. And also, too, when I say nice and clean, I mean not everything's getting washed because there's some stuff that aren't going to get washed. To further emphasize of what's getting clean, it's going to be my chest protector, my knee pads, uh, my neck guard for sure. I may throw in my uh, catcher and blocker. And also to um, maybe my jock. I know. Definitely not the skates and definitely not the uh, helmet right here. But I can tell you one thing with the helmet. I recently did replace the headband for it because my old headband was nasty and very disgusting. So that's that. So anyway, up to the bathroom to get the stuff clean. Also, before we get started, guys, quick shout out to... Pacific Rink Hockey Club, available in Torrance, California, and OxyClean. Went to Costco yesterday, picked up this box, so um, let's get the cleaning. First step of action, and yes, I'm sitting on my toilet like Philip Rivers right now, is turn on the water. Okay, so now, a big box, so this is going to last me a while, but I'm just going to take a couple scoops with this little guy right here. Scoop, toss it in. Do not do it yet, but when I do it, You'll see. Just wait. It'll be good. I promise you. For any people, goalies, players wanting to watch equipment, I'm a goalie, so I'm watching my goalie gear. But for players, this will work too. I'm not going to get high off this in the tub. Scoop two. Now to swirl around, after it's swirled around, water's gonna stop and we can get started. Now, hopefully you can hear me over the water, but what I have to do is just grab a stick, any stick, and basically just mix the water together. Doing this will just get the water all swished around. So you already see the OxyClean doing its magic, getting the water nice and soapy. You just wanna wait for the water to fill a little bit more. Once the water is full, we shall begin this process. Now for the fun part. Throwing the equipment in. These are my Bauer 1X Vapor uh, knee pads. If you want to know my what's fully in my bag, go back and watch the uh, what's in my bag video I did about a year ago. I was going to do another one soon, but I'm like, you know what? Nothing's really changed significantly, so I'm going to leave it for now. If I do it, it's because I'm bored and hockey's not back. Let's just leave it at that. So that being said, number one, in the water. And number two, in the water. Just pushing them down. Let them get that nice soak going. Just, yeah. So there you can see the knee pads in, getting nice and clean because, whoo, I sweat a lot during hockey games because every goalie does. Next up is one of my OG pieces of equipment that is my Bauer Neck Guard. Bauer Supreme uh, SLR3. Uh, yeah, if you don't notice the theme, I really like Bauer, so Here's the neck guard going in the water. I do not show up the knee pads. I am sorry for if anyone's offended, but yeah, this neck guard has been with me for a while and has not been washed. The neck guard is in dire need of getting washed. So leave the neck guard there. Next up's the big one. I think it's gonna get the water very dirty. And actually it's a bit new since my last video. I, not, I got this used, but it's still very good chest protector. It's my Bauer uh, and Matt. It's actually a pro SOR3. It's the same model as my, uh, Neck guard, but as you can see, it's a little dirty. Whew, it smells like hockey. So, in you go. Like, look, you can already see. Look 
Look at the color of the water already. So yeah, like there we go. Now for actually a full look, we're gonna take the go. We're gonna take our little water camera over there for an in-depth look of everything soaking, so you can see what the water really looks like for an in-depth look. Two more pieces of gear left. My Vaughn B6 2000 Pro catcher, which you can see. Actually, let's open this up as more you see more. Like, it's there, and two, whew. Yeah, that part in there's a little grimy, and see too how it's like really stained on the outside as well. So it's one of those things, you know what, if I can get this washed now, I'm gonna do this, so. In you go, which we'll show with the, uh, get the water camera fired back up and show you. So I just did a whole video basically describing that my matching Vaughn V6 2000 Pro blocker is, was gonna go in the water. And then I realized I was recording the wrong way, so I had to redo this clip. So, uh, in the water, you go, Vaughn Blocker. So now, everything is in the tub. I'm gonna let it soak in that disgusting water for about an hour. And a lot of people are going, oh, it's disgusting, why are you letting it soak? That's what you gotta do. It's like washing something, you just can't wash it and do that. You gotta let it soak, you gotta let it absorb, you gotta, do that so basically you can leave it overnight if you want to you can let it soak for there i'm gonna do it for about an hour or so probably just over an hour come here then just let the things dry because i know the chest pressure probably won't be dry at least for a few days i'm like i try putting it outside it's a little cold right now but oh, the rest i'll probably just hang up on top of the uh nice little shower rod i got going here so yeah just stay tuned for all that all this right here stay tuned can't believe this i just got caught up on my own video so you know what Quick little recap, stuff's in there, about to get wa washing, so soaking, doing whatever. I'm gonna go chill for a bit, probably about an hour, like I said, come back, let this stuff get dry. Freestyle now, back here, as you can see, water's almost gone, let's just get closer in there. Like, we've never seen water that color before, that's not in a very contaminated environment, that just shows how dirty this gear was. If you're asking about the AirPods, no, I'm not recording with them right now. I'm currently here in my bathroom as I'm doing this. I'm uh, watching WrestleMania 22 because, as we know, WrestleMania this year is canceled due to COVID-19, which, or canceled, postponed. Hopefully it would be canceled, but it's not. So, I'm going to watch this while money on the bank watching, while I'm hanging this stuff up. But I'm also going to continue watching the show after I'm done this. But, uh, you yeah, know, once the water all dissolves, I will start drying the gear up here, leave the chest protector and the gloves in there. I'm just going to flip the catcher and the blocker, though, the heads up so the water runs down. Does that make sense? I think it does. So as you can see right now, you got this hanging. Look at this. It's got a little, a little drip drip going to it. So for the next part, let's get the knee pads hung up. But I'm going to have to get creative with my film angles. So now, as you can see, or I'm going to show you, that the knee pads hung up, but see you got, got the water dripping out. Like I said, I'm gonna leave this here. So the cat's on the blocker so the water runs down. But see, there's still some dirt left over, so I'm gonna have to clean the tub of, I'm gonna clean the tub out after I'm done. So I'm gonna put this video together. If this is the ending, it's the ending. If not, we'll be back actually. I will update you guys in a little bit just because I got these towels laid down right here right now. I got three towels out of my bath towel and I have the two towels out of my bag because it's what I use if I shower at the facility. But I got a little little drippage and I got some too on the back there. If you can. Oh, yeah, there you go. Like, yeah, because I was trying to fix that and then the water from above, like, that right there was getting in the way. But, oh, uh... Yeah, you know what we gotta do for now? Just leave these here as is and uh, let these bad boys dry. That's all I can do. So I'm outside now. Brought the uh, chest protector, catcher, and blocker to uh, dry out here because it is—it's a little chilly, but it is nice and sunny. So 
leave them out there, but I'm coming inside because I'm finished just like this. Thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more goalie stuff. Just comment down below. I'm trying to pump out more YouTube content, especially since we're in these tough times and social distancing is a thing. You know what? Social distancing doesn't exist on YouTube. I really fucked that up. But anyway, guys, see you guys in the next video. I'm going to try to do as many videos as I can, especially with postponed WrestleMania. But maybe got some more goalie uh, tips and tricks here. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how that goes.